My name is Derek Palmer. Uh, I work at the JFK 8 Staten Island Warehouse. Um, I'm here to um, get our demands, make sure that our demands are being um, are being forced. Uh, you know, we, it's been a long, long journey here. Uh, we just want, you know, we want basic things. We just want the, them to shut the building down, sanitize it, open it back up. Um, whatever they have to do to make us feel safe is what we want them to do. Um, just recently, they got rid of the um, unlimited unpaid time off, um, which is why you see all these cars here. Um, before, before today, there was a lot of people who stood home because they, they don't feel safe coming here. And now that uh, Amazon got rid of the unlimited unpaid time off, it's basically forcing workers to come here. And they're forcing me to come back today and I did not show up. So I'm here now for the people inside, people across the world right now to let them know that we need to fight. We need to fight together. And we need to let this know, this man know that these warehouses need to be clean and we need to be paid. Thank you guys for coming to support us. We even have a nurse here. Thank you. She's a she's an essential worker right here. We're not. She is. So it's amazing that we got all these workers to come and support us. Uh, we have seen in the last month since the city shut down, more and more of our patients are essential workers and their families. Other people are at home staying safe. Um, their exposure level is low and the exposure level of essential workers is exponentially higher. They're the ones that are getting sick. Um, their lives matter. We need to protect them. We need to give them the proper, uh, the, the proper PPE and everything that they need in order to stay safe. And if not, that's a human rights violation in my opinion. And we are seeing them die. And we are the last lines, we're not the front lines. We can't, we can't help them sometimes. 88% of people who are on the vent are not getting off the ventilator. That means the only way to keep people from dying is to stop them from getting sick. And the only way we can stop them from getting sick is providing them the correct um, working environment. I believe that these people out here fighting for their health and their sanitary working conditions are healthcare workers. They're the ones who are going to stop COVID-19, not the doctors, not the people in the hospitals. We can't stop it. The only way we can stop it is by stopping it in the community where it is spreading. I would love to see a May Day where we actually can have a general strike. Um, um, I think for now we need to build through organizing and really like hit the ground and talk to people and kind of continue where this is going. And it's the beginning of what we really need in this country, which is a, a working class movement across sectors for people to come together regardless of where they work and fight for our common demands. Hi, uh, my name is Mike, physician in New York City. I'm a member of Left Voice. I'm here today to support um, Amazon warehouse workers who are striking, walking out to demand better working conditions, to demand appropriate uh, protection in the workplace. Um, you know, the companies continue in the United States to put profit over people's lives. That has continued for some time now. There's a term that people use, it's called social murder. It's basically when the ruling class in society cannot provide the appropriate conditions to protect people, and that's what's going on throughout the United States. Whether it's at Amazon, whether it's in the healthcare setting, whether it's at other large companies, the meat packing warehouses, you name it, where the elite, the CEOs will not provide appropriate protection to continue to put workers at risk, and put people's lives at risk, that's called, and people are dying because of that, that's called social murder. These people are being killed because of that. We're coming to understand pretty clearly the message that these billionaire bastards are sending us. Yeah. That we're on our own. That our lives don't matter. That no one will fight for our safety except workers just like ourselves. And every time Bezos and the rest of the corporate swine who run this country, the Donald Trumps of the world, like try to target Chris Smalls, try to target Amazon workers fighting back, we need to be here to have their back, to be in solidarity with them to make sure that we send a punishing message to every billionaire who thinks they own the world and they can walk over our dead bodies. It's not happening, no longer. God forbid 5,000 employees in here, asymptomatic, 
they go home. They feel fine. They're healthy. They're young. No symptoms. But they got a grandmother at home. They got a small child at home. They, their family member gets sick. They don't know why. They didn't get a test. All they know is that their family member is sick. These nurses that are here, they see their grandmother. They watch their grandmother pass away. These are the stories that we have to tell. We should have stopped it already, but we can't. You know why we can't? Because capitalism, capitalism runs this country. Billionaires run this country. The one percenters, right? The one percenters run this country. We not a part of that. We a part of the lower class, right? Right? We black and brown minorities. We separated from the lower class. Look what we did. Nurses here. Transit workers. Transit workers. Let's talk about that. I'm going to use this platform today. I'm going to use this platform today. Transit workers. How many of y'all died? 104. Shit. How many of y'all died? 104. Let me hear y'all. 104 transit workers How many of y'all died? 104 workers dead. What, is, what the hell is Governor Cuomo doing? Yeah, exactly. What is he talking about? That's the real issue. What is he talking about? What's he doing? He needs to give him a visit. Protecting the rich. What is he talking about? Protecting the rich, not playing the poor. Y'all died. Your co-workers. People y'all saw every day. Absolutely. And they want to thank us. They want to light up the Empire State Building. They want to clap for us. They want to praise essential workers. What is an essential worker? All this stuff don't mean shit. We, we, the people, deserve better. Period. Yeah. We deserve better. Yep. Enough is enough. Today, May 1st, May Day, it's May Day for real. We bringing back that tradition. We bringing it back. We bringing it back. 